Our first guest helps authors, entrepreneurs, and creatives develop their brands through storytelling. Her name is Bree Weber, and she's the founder of the book Octopus. Here to share her top tips for building your brand, telling your story, and getting your book out into the world. Hey, Bree. Hi, thank you for having me. Yes, of course. So I have personally put my story out there, and it is very vulnerable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the first step for people who really want to share something, but they're too nervous about putting their story out into the world? Yeah, I think that's something that people tend to struggle with a lot. We think about marketing as and branding really as being this process where you kind of turn off your personal side and right. bring out this sort of car sales me, sort of old timey <laughs> yeah. figure. Um, and really the branding process, creative marketing is really about presenting this very vulnerable side of yourself yeah. to say this is my story, this is what I've gone through. And when you share it with the right people in the right way, when you're clear about who you are and what your story is, you're yeah. gonna connect, you're gonna find those people who resonate with you. Yeah. So one of the first things that I like to tell clients is think about why you're doing this. Mm -hmm. When you kind of get to the core of what it is that you're trying to share and what your motivations are, yeah. you're probably gonna find something on the other side, who your target reader is, your target audience. Right. You'll start to understand what their core motivations are and how you're gonna connect over that same story. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that so I'm I'm professional in marketing, and you know one of the things that um, I found that people are most drawn to is those authentic stories and the things that they can resonate with as a human being. Yeah. If you're not touching people at the core of who they are, they're not going to take any action. Right. Action really comes from feeling. Exactly, and that's something I like to to bring up. But sometimes people talk about customer loyalty, right? What yeah. is that? That's just people saying you understand what I'm going through and, and we've connected, we've bonded over a value or a belief system mm -hmm. or some sort of experience. And branding is really just that cultivation of shared experiences. So when you can connect with the person on the other side of that book or a yeah. business or if it's a personal brand, your own story, that's when you're able to start cultivating some of those experiences and mm -hmm. then you're gonna have someone who's gonna wanna read the next book yeah. or check out the next product that you release. So what are some of the ways that people use their book to really kind of brand themselves? So books, especially if you're an entrepreneur mm -hmm. or if you are using a book to support your business, a book is just one way that you're sharing your experience or your message. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to raise your profile you are connecting with people through print or digital means, mm -hmm. and you're trying to share your story, but you're probably gonna be sharing that story in other ways, right? You're going to speaking events, yeah. you have your company, you have clients perhaps. So when you're looking to promote yourself using your book, you're basically just using that as a talking piece yeah. to share your story. So you might go on to, um, an into an interview, you might be sharing it with reviewers to mm -hmm. get their perspective, but that's just one platform that you're sharing your book through. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that writing a book can also get you those speaking gigs and podcasts and mm -hmm. all those kind of opportunities as well. Absolutely. People really view books, especially in the nonfiction realm, mm -hmm. as a source of credibility and authority. If you have taken the time to pour out all of your you know, thoughts and expertise yeah. on a topic and you can organize it into a way that people can connect with it, then that shows that you really do know this topic really well mm -hmm. and you can share your message or your story at the end of it. Yeah, so I was looking at your about page mm -hmm. and your background is so crazy <laughs> powerful. You've done Thank a lot you. of stuff. <laughs> you just, I'm just like credibility, credibility, credibility. You just got stacks of credibility under uh, your thank belt. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your background. Yeah, so I knew that I wanted to work in publishing and initially I was very excited about working in an editorial field in yeah. a large publishing house. And I went to the UK, studied for my master's in London. Mm -hmm. And through that program, I had a really great opportunity to work with some big names like yeah. Penguin and Macmillan. And I learned a ton about the publishing process in general yeah. so that when I moved to New York and I was working with agents, I had a sense of both from the publisher perspective, but also now from an agenting perspective, mm -hmm. working with authors kind of from their perspective. So as I was kind of viewing this this process of 
building a brand and publishing a book from these different angles, I realized I really love working with authors. I really like connecting with agents and publishers, but right. I want to be in a direct you know, partnership with the authors yeah. and the entrepreneurs that I'm working with. So I wanted to create a team for those authors. So even if you're looking to independently publish, or if you're looking to traditionally publish, mm -hmm. you have you know your own group that's going to support you just like you yeah. would if you were building a company. Because mm -hmm. quite honestly, that's what publishing a book is nowadays. You are creating a, a company and you yeah. are branding yourself to help get the word out there. Yeah, awesome. So, um, you know, what are the things that you do right now? You know, some of the direct things that you do to support people in kind of reaching those goals. So obviously it depends on the goals, but in terms of some of the key parts of that process, I am constantly asking lots of questions. Yeah. You know, why are you writing this book? Why do you want to publish it? Why is it so important for you to share this message? Mm -hmm. And then a really key question that I s tend to spend a lot of time on with my clients is, why should people spend time and money on this product or this yeah. book? What value are you bringing to them? Because if you can kind of wrap your head around that perspective, again, mm -hmm. understanding that target market, what they're looking for, then you're going to be able to create an authentic connection with them. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I kind of went through, so I, I'm not like a big time published author or anything like that, but I wrote, <laughs> but I you wrote have a my great story. Yeah. yeah, I wrote my story, <laughs> but I came in with an intention. I knew mm -hmm. exactly what I wanted it for. I wanted it for my Women of Denver members. I wanted it to be a workshop resource when I go and teach right. my workshops. And then I wanted people to have something tangibly that they can write in and use. So I wanted it to be a tool. It wasn't just me like writing my story and talking about it, right. you know, and trying to tell people, this is how I got here and this is what I did. You know, it was about how are, you know, what did I go through mm -hmm. and how can, what makes me qualified to basically share this template with you. Exactly. And then how you can use this template to basically reach whatever, what is your level of success that you're looking for. Right. And, you know, it's stuff that I really use and I wanted to share with people. So that was what it was. I wasn't trying to be like, you know, get a bunch of book sales or go anywhere, right. but I had a specific goal and I achieved that goal with what I wanted. And then the people, outside of that started buying it and I was like, Which hey, awesome. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. There's someone in France who's read my book, <laughs> you know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But like, in, I even in that case, it's a really powerful tool. You've yeah. created a, a dialogue, a conversation piece, really. Here's my story. Here's the steps that I took to get to where yeah. I am. You know, it's still in process. You're always moving towards something mm -hmm. else. But, you know, how can you use these tools? Do these apply to your situation? Yeah. How can you use this workbook to, you know, guide your story or yeah. record your story? And I think the most meaningful part of really putting that out there is that as soon as people have read it, there's been a lot of people that write me long emails or just a short, you know, text message or something and just say, you know, I really resonated with that. You made me feel safe now. That's awesome. In my own skin. Yeah. And, you know, the power of that is now there's that connection. You know, and you can't make that unless you really get out there and share the vulnerable part of your story that right. you probably like to cling close to, but that can help other people. Exactly. And usually when we're sharing something vulnerable or even something that we think is negative about ourselves, mm -hmm. I mean, generally nine times out of ten in my experience and with the clients that I work with, when they share it, even though it's uncomfortable and it's hard to do and yeah. difficult to get used to, you see people nodding their head. They're yeah. going through the same thing. They have those challenges. They have those negative feelings about mm -hmm. themselves. And connecting over that is so powerful that I think it's absolutely worth it. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Are there any other tips that you want to give to our, our audience before we go? Um, I think just really the one big thing that I encourage people to, to think about, especially mm -hmm. new clients that I'm working with, is kind of create a personality for who it is that you're reaching out to. If you don't know who that is yet, if you're still trying to you know, start a business or write that book, create the personality for the person that you're gonna be sharing it with. Give mm -hmm. them a name, you know, decide where they live, what they do for a living, how they spend yeah. their time, what their struggles are, because it's probably gonna be really similar to you or someone that you would probably connect with in real life. And creating that persona or finding that person in real life, generally it's gonna make the process of writing that story or sharing that story easier because you know you have a friend on the other side. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here and for sharing so much about your background yeah. and the empowering things that you do for authors. Thank you so much for having me. This was a blast. <laughs>